And with that, about a million people less than normal in Times Square this year as the East Coast rings in the new year. And then here in downtown Portland, the biggest public gathering is not a celebration, but now a riot, including smashed windows at local businesses. Good evening to you and thanks so much for joining us for Queen 6 News at 11. I'm Elizabeth Din. And I'm Dan Tilkin in for Jeff tonight. Another disturbing evening. Tonight's gathering was declared a riot just minutes ago. Protests had slowed down for the winter, but this week, We've seen a return to late night vandalism. Let's check in with our Jennifer Dowling. She's live now with a look at what exactly is happening right now, Jennifer. Well, there's a lot going on down here by the federal courthouse building and the Justice Center. There are fireworks popping off everywhere in the middle of the street, also near the old courthouse building. Uh, you've got strobe lights. You've got people trying to set fires. We saw a signpost on fire earlier. This is a group about of about 70 to 50 people, and they had like a, a dance party on the street earlier, and it was pretty quiet. But then uh, let's take a look at some video. They broke the Starbucks window on Southwest 2nd right across from the Portland police bureau entrance uh, shattered a number of glass panels there uh, leaving that business in tatters we heard glass breaking elsewhere but we haven't been able to see if there are any other windows damaged throughout downtown uh, now we have police out here and they have declared a riot uh, that was an unlawful assembly but it only took about 10 to 15 minutes for them to up the ante uh, and declare it a riot uh, this is a, a pretty intense situation out here. Um, police are on the scene. Uh, they told people to move to the west, but as you can see, people are still setting off fireworks. Now, this follows a similar pattern to what we've been seeing. Last night, a group of around 40 people marched from Director Park through southwest Portland, some leaving buildings damaged, similar to tonight, along the way. Take a listen. When we got to work this morning, there it was. Vandals shattered windows and left graffiti at places like the Oregon Historical Society as they swept through southwest Portland Wednesday. Just so very, uh, you know, disappointing uh, for several reasons. One, because I think if history has taught us anything, it's that the way to uh, progress is through conversation and discussion and not through violence or vandalism. Executive Director Carrie Timchuk says this is the second time OHS has been vandalized in the last three months. This time the damage wasn't as severe. Much less than the October incident when, uh, of course, many of our windows were broken, a flare was thrown into the, to the pavilion. Uh, this was, uh, you know, still vandalism, but much less than the last incident. Portland police say Wednesday, as the group moved through the streets, some people broke windows, spray painted buildings, fired paintballs, and caused other damage. A Starbucks was one of the businesses vandalized, along with another restaurant. Carrie says after the vandalism in October, they tapped the talent of Tristan Irving, a BLM artist who we interviewed this summer. He painted murals over the boards that went up over the windows. And he came up with the idea of painting these beautiful images, turning the plywood into canvases and going through, using our photographic archive uh, to select some images of a diverse number of Oregonians uh, who have helped to make our history and to honor them by painting them on these plywood boards. Uh, it's received such a great reaction. Kerry says Tristan's murals will be on display until next week. We tried to respond to the last vandalism by, by making lemonade out of the lemons and uh, that's what we'll continue to do. And back out here live, you can hear the fireworks popping off. Uh, those have not let up. And of course, they're being fired directly at the Justice Center and the federal courthouse building. That is probably one of the reasons that Portland police have declared this a riot. But they have yet to move in and break this up uh, right out here on Southwest 3rd. A lot going on as far as those fireworks. And then we've heard a lot of banging on the doors as well at the Justice Center. It sounds like people trying to pry their way in or get in somehow. They have not been successful. Uh, but again, very active out here, and this is, can be very expensive for businesses or other institutions if they are vandalized in this way. Carrie said that cleanup uh, just at the Oregon Historical Society can range in the thousands of dollars up to around $50,000 in damages just to put those boards back on, repair windows, clean up graffiti. So it can get quite expensive. So again, tonight, police have declared a riot. We have not seen them come in to break up the crowd, but they have a presence here. We'll keep an eye on things and keep you posted. Back to you.